Hello and welcome to It's Tea Time. I'm your host, Jonathan Sellers, and today we're joined by Sandy Atkins, a senior associate director of athletics for Troy University. And Sandy, uh, it was a very busy weekend for yep. you all over in athletics with it homecoming. I mean, it's a busy weekend at the university, but a, a lot to recap. Um, Kind of tell us something yeah. about it. Yeah, we we did. Uh, we had a great crowd come back for homecoming. You know, uh, unfortunately, the the game didn't turn out in our favor, but uh, but a lot of positive things happening around homecoming. Mm -hmm. I mean, our our student attendance continues to just uh, amaze right. amaze us. Uh, we've had uh, the past three games some great student attendance, but uh, you know, just in general, we had a couple of alumni games. Um, um, where you know student, uh, uh, former student athletes come back and, right. and uh, get to enjoy the festivities, a uh, very large crowd uh, for the homecoming event. So it was uh, it was a good day, other than the the final outcome of the football game. Well, and I know the baseball was a big one, and they had their Hall of Fame induction ceremony mm -hmm. with uh, Coach Pierce and mm -hmm. and Betty Riddle, and that was always a, a good ceremony as always. And then the softball team had their oh, yeah. reunion, yeah, yeah. and you were a part of that one. <laughs> uh, but as you said, a lot of a lot of people returning, and that's always good, getting to see uh, everything and getting to see the new football mm -hmm. program. I know, as you said, it didn't turn out like we'd like, but still positive signs that, that sure. we're seeing along the way. But uh, still uh, a lot to look forward to coming mm -hmm. up, and it, it doesn't seem like it, but a couple of seasons are almost <laughs> winding down, including the soccer team who uh, still just rolling along there in uh, second place right now. Mm -hmm. They did mm -hmm. lose one over the weekend, but still – uh, high up there in the standings. Yeah, you know, they'd put uh, quite a bit of separation between themselves and, and the teams, uh, you know, Troy and South being the top two teams in the league. Um, we do have, uh, I know it is hard to believe that we are winding down this weekend yeah. at Senior Day uh, on Sunday for the soccer team. So, you know, it's at one o'clock. Okay. Uh, we do play Friday night at seven. Um, if we win one, one out of two of those, and, and certainly we, we hope to win both, but uh, just one will lock us into second place as we, um, I look forward to the Sunbelt Conference Tournament that will be uh, coming up in two weeks uh, in, in Atlanta. Okay. And I know that the attendance for those games, home games, has been uh, great all year long. And I know what better way to end it than uh, on senior day having a great crowd. Oh, you know, no doubt. We talk about the students. Um, I, I really can't say enough about, you know, what they've been able to do at football, but, you know, just what they've done at volleyball. I mean, we set uh, – and, and soccer. Right. You know, we set the, the – um, a Sunbelt Conference record in soccer uh, for for a highest attended okay. game earlier this year. Uh, the students continue to come out <clears throat> uh, to to all of our sports, uh, you know, as well as the community uh, individuals as well. So, uh, you know, having said that, uh, uh, with soccer, we do have a volleyball match mm -hmm. Thursday night against Texas State, which will be a really big match for us. Um, Texas State's currently in third place. We're in fourth place, uh, coming off of uh, uh, we've we've uh, won eight in a row with, right. with volleyball. So yeah, and they're doing uh, on a roll. And, and Coach Sonny always said if if uh, they can play at home, they're gonna they're gonna do well, and they get that game at home. So that's that's a big one for them. Yeah, um, you know it's a uh, it's a game of momentum. Uh, you know we we uh, started off a little slow at the beginning of the mm. season and, and really been on a hot streak. Um, and like I said, with Texas State coming up, it's a really important game for us to you know be able to slide up into third place. Well, and I know uh, cross country there they've been running a lot so far, and they're about to wrap up their <laughs> wrap running up. a lot. Yeah, they've right, been yeah. Up, but they're about to wrap up their uh, fall schedule and then head to the conference Sunbelt championships. And I know they've got a very young team. But. Yeah, they've uh, you know uh, this is the second year of the, of the coaching staff uh, been able to uh, recruit uh, some of you know their their. Uh, uh, some talent to come in. Uh, they've been successful already this season, um, you know, winning uh, a meet and then finishing the top of a couple of meets. Uh, but yeah, we're winding that season down as well. They actually will play in Atlanta as well uh, on the Sunday, uh, Sunday two weeks. Uh, uh, yeah, so they have their, their Sunbelt Conference meet um, in Atlanta then. Okay. And I know uh, basketball hasn't started their games yet but they've officially started practice and uh, they'll also have a chance for fans to kind of get to, to meet them sure. and, and get to see them in action a little bit next week. Uh, yeah, we've got our, uh, like you said, you know, we keep uh, we keep pumping out uh, events and, and right. contests. Uh, our Trojan Madness uh, event will be uh, Wednesday, the 28th of October. Uh, you know, it's an event that we are targeting students, but we also want the community to come out as well. Um, you know, we'll have a free uh, Chick-fil-A for the first 500 uh, participants or, or first 500 students 
uh, or individuals that come in, but we'll also be doing a um, you know, three-point uh, shooting contest. We'll have a dunk contest. I think uh, you know, it would be the first opportunity to see uh, our teams, uh, both teams plan on doing a little scrimmage. Okay. Um, we'll also be doing a half-court shot uh, and giving away a free uh, iPad. Okay. Uh, if you remember last year, I think it was the last shot, uh, somebody right. actually won the iPad last year. So a lot of excitement, you know, we're trying to, uh, uh, you know, bring these teams out and let, uh, let the individuals get a, get a look at uh, what we're doing there. Well, and I know a lot of fans maybe uh, haven't got to see the basketball teams yet or uh, a lot of the new students and women's basketball team won 20 games last year and they look just to kind of continue where they left off. Oh yeah, they, uh, uh, you know, they've got some uh, two uh, preseason all-conference uh, and, and Caitlin Ramirez and, and Ashley Beverly mm -hmm. Kelly. Uh, so a lot of uh, um, uh, you know leadership returning, uh, but they've also got some great uh, impact players that are going to come in uh, and be an impact right away. And you know on the men's side, you know we've we finally uh, <laughs> find some wood to knock on. Uh, you know have uh, a healthy team. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of been our nemesis uh, over the past year. So uh, looking forward to some great things out of the men's and program. They're as also well. returning the, the freshman of the year from last year, Wesley Person. Correct. And I mean, and he was a fun to watch <laughs> out there, a great uh, player. But uh, their seasons will be starting soon and mm -hmm. that will be next Wednesday, um, October 28th in the Trojan Arena. Yes, midnight. Ma the, the Trojan Madness will start at 7 o'clock next Wednesday the 28th. Uh, and then the season, we'll have a couple of exhibition games on November the 5th. Okay. Uh, and then the season will get kicked off with, with games on November 13th for the women and then the 14th for the men. All right. Well, a lot to look forward to. So thank you very much. Absolutely. All right. Stay tuned for more coming up on It's Tea Time. Now on its tea time, we're going to take a look at the soccer team with the head coach, Coach Jason Hamilton. And uh, Coach, went over to Georgia over the weekend, and uh, you were able to win your game on Friday. Then Sunday, you always say those are just hard games to, to play, and you're playing a team that was on their senior, senior night or senior day, and just a lot of emotion on that side, and you just didn't get the effort that you expected out there. Yeah, I mean, we were, uh, we're happy. You know, looking back at it to get a to get a split against two you know two of the better teams in the conference on the road, um, but disappointed that we didn't get two wins. Right. Because um, you know even when we do get two wins, sometimes we're disappointed. Right. So, um, <laughs> you know, Friday night was uh, we knew it was going to be both games would be very tough. Um, you know, at at that Friday night's game, Georgia Southern they were just a game behind us, so they were playing for second place, and then. Uh, on Sunday, Georgia State, you know, a little bit of desperation because they had dropped their last couple of games in the conference. So they were they were trying to to stay in the top half of the of the table there. So we knew both games were going to be very tough, uh, and, and they were uh, Friday, um, you know, back and forth game, very strong defensive game by both teams, and, and we were able to put one away in the second half and and get out of there with a win. Uh, and then you know Sunday, just a different story. You know, it was a, a little bit unique of a travel weekend for us we had to stay in three different hotels because oh. uh, Georgia Southern was having their their homecoming uh, so we had to get out of there Friday night okay. drive a, you know a little bit and then stay in a hotel and then get up and travel again on Saturday so that was uh, something that was you know a little bit different than our, our usual away trips so um, you know a little bit heavy legs on Sunday and and again Georgia State you know having senior day big crowd a lot of emotion um, you know we knew that they were going to come out w with a little bit of desperation and and unfortunately they outworked us I mean they deserve the win we'll give them credit for that uh, you know but to go to double overtime 106 minutes and, and to be four minutes away from you know a tie which probably wasn't even deserved is a little disappointing that we uh, weren't able to come away with that so uh, good news is we got to play on on their field and see what that's right. like because that's where the conference tournament will be um, and you know give us a little bit of experience out there and, and see that field um, going into the to the tournament in a couple weeks did you take anything from it is it anything odd out there or anything um, from... no I mean it's a it's a tough place to play it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere okay. um, so you know especially when you're a road team that's on, you know, if you have two teams from that aren't from Georgia right. playing in a conference game, it's going to be a very, very quiet atmosphere. Okay. Um, and and obviously we we enjoy playing in front of large crowds. Right. So uh, that that one's going to be, you know, be a unique one. Um, but you know, it's a big field. We kind of showed a little bit different of a of a formation than we typically do um, to try and be a little bit more aggressive in that game. And you know, worked in the first half, we went up one nothing, and then just kind of ran out of ran out of legs there in the second half. So um, you know, stuff to build off of, and and you know, kind of allow us to refocus this week. And and we're still in in really good shape, and we're sitting in second place, a game ahead of everybody, and kind of control our own our own destiny here. Well, and you wrap up that regular season this weekend with two home matches and against Arkansas State Friday, and then uh, Arkansas Little Rock on Sunday. What do you know about those teams? Um, so this kind of. Uh, we're almost in the same situation as we were last year. Uh, you know, 
Arkansas State doesn't have anything to lose. They're already eliminated from, from okay. conference play. So, um, you know, why not go out on the road and, and go out, you know, in a, in a good, in good fashion and steal some points from somebody who's trying to, to finish right. in the top two. So, um, you know, that's, that's never a situation you really want to face as a coach and just preparing our team, you know, don't, don't take them light. You know, right. they may be eliminated, but they're still going to play and try to end their season positive. Uh, and then, um, you know, it's kind of the, again, same thing with Little Rock as well uh, as last year is they're currently in fourth, but they could finish as, as low as last. So um, they're going to come in on Sunday and, you know, having faced South on Friday, yeah. they could really probably need the points um, in Sunday's game. And, and they've been a difficult team to play against. I mean, they've got a, a tie with Texas. They lost in double overtime to Ole Miss. Um, you know, they're coming off, I think they're unbeaten in, in their last three games in conference. So they're, they're, um, they're really coming together as a team and, and just very disciplined and, and very um, stingy defensively. So, you know, both games, it, you know, we really have to, to be the aggressors and go after those right. teams. And, and again, we know we need, uh, we need definitely the points um, in one game and probably points in both games to, to be able to lock up second place going into the conference tournament. Yeah, so not the kind of teams you necessarily want to see <laughs> on, on the closing weekend of the season, no. but you've you got to do, uh, deal with what you're faced with. And, exactly. Uh, there will be some uh, festivities going on this weekend at those games. I know you've had big crowds all year hoping to continue that this weekend. Friday, well, Halloween coming up, there, there will be a little Halloween theme. Yeah, know? it'll be a Halloween theme. I think we're going to have some activities at halftime and some games and chances for the, uh, the fans to yeah. take home some prizes. So um, we want to make sure we're, we're giving them an opportunity to, to enjoy themselves, not just at the game, but um, at halftime and, and walk away with something. And then uh, Sunday's going to be an important day for us. We want to recognize our seniors, uh, very important senior class to us. Uh, you know, they're now the, the winningest senior class right. in program history. You've got, um, you know, Chelsea and, and Alyssa are leading all-time history in, in goals and shots, and they're number one and number two in probably four or five categories. Wow. Um, then you've got, you know, I think Jasmine and Peyton are going to end up in the top two or three in minutes played, um, you know, and then Kirsten you know, as, our, as our other senior. So all starting, all playing for us, all contributing to a, a great year and um, a great past two years. So we definitely want to recognize them and, and send them off on a, on a, on a high note with, uh, with some good fans there. Right, exactly right. So in, uh, Friday at 7 and then Sunday at 1 o'clock. Correct. All right, Coach. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, stay tuned for more coming up on It's Tea Time. Welcome back to It's Tea Time. And we're going to talk a little cross country now with the head coach of that team, and that's Coach Elliot Blount. And, uh, Coach, uh, you had a, a tough meet over the weekend up at Alabama with some – really prestigious teams there and uh, how'd your team do up there? Uh, we didn't do as well on the men's side. Let's start with the men. We didn't do as well as we would have hoped as right. from a competitive standpoint. Um, I think our fitness is there, but we're just not really you know, kind of going for that kill right. yet. Um, the women I thought competed very well. We had some people that were uh, in prior meets just a little off their game and uh, as a whole I think we competed pretty well for the women. Now, um, did you take most of your freshmen on the men's side? Yeah, it looks like we're going to be you know, pretty heavy on the, on the men's side okay. with freshmen um, uh, leading in the conference, which is in about a week and a half. So um, that's just the, you know, the, the makeup of the team. Right. Uh, the women, we have a little bit uh, more of an older lineup, more experienced lineup. So I think we can kind of attack it uh, you know, with, a, with more of an, a disciplined approach. But the men, we're going to have to be like you know, guns are blazing. <laughs> now, uh, you said you got conference in a couple of weeks. So you've got a little bit of time off between now and then. Uh, Meat-wise, mm -hmm. what do you plan on doing with your team? A lot of training, some rest. What yeah, are you gonna a do? lot of rest. I, I pounded them pretty good early in the season. Now we're, we're trying to sharpen things up as far as uh, the training goes. Um, you know, we maybe have a couple of workouts in there that will allow them to, you know, um, uh, you know, s you know, see their fitness and feel their fitness. So. Now, do you know anything about the conference track? Um, have you raced there this year? No, we haven't been to the conference courses yet. Um, we'll get up there uh, two days before the conference okay. meet, so we can check that out and uh, make sure that you know we're, you know, familiar with the course and the turns. It's pretty much four loops for the men, okay. um, uh, two and a half for the women. Uh, so I think it'll be uh, you know a, a fair course, but uh, something that we can compete rather well on. Now, will you try to find some area around here that maybe you can kind of simulate that course? I mean, Troy's chock full of hills, okay. like, and it's a pretty, no, it's a fairly hilly course. Okay. And uh, the golf course we have here, uh, the flats, um, gives us nice race simulation and practice. Right. And we've been doing that all year. You know, right. I knew about that course prior to okay. uh, getting up there, so I think we'll be fine as far as that goes. All right, Coach. Well, I know. Uh, you're ready to give them some rest, and you're ready to kind of hit the, hit the ground running. Literally. Uh, for, for the conference championship. So good luck uh, Thank you. then, and Thank uh, you. hopefully we'll hear back some good news. Excellent. All right. 
on It's Tea Time. And welcome to our final segment here on It's Tea Time. And we're going to talk about the volleyball team with Coach Sonny Kirkpatrick. And uh, Coach, last week we were talking about your win streak and seeing if your team could do it on the road. And you took your team on the road and they were able to extend that streak with two wins over uh, the Louisiana schools of the Sun Belt, uh, Louisiana Monroe and, and Lafayette. And uh, I know you, you've got to be happy with the way they were able to continue that on the road. I am. Uh, you know, when you go on the road, you just hope to give yourself an opportunity to win. Right. And uh, luckily enough, we did. Uh, started out Friday night a little shaky against Monroe. Uh, first match or first game, they came out and, and played really well. And we made a lot of mistakes on our side. And the, the the goal is to not make that many mistakes. And we had a chance to clean those up in between sets one and two, and the girls settled down and, and played the way that we thought that they would. Uh, the, the fourth game, Monroe jumped up 10 to four on us. And, you know, we sit there and you think, the last two years we've been here, we've gone five, and here it goes again. Right. And, uh, you know, they, they kind of looked at themselves in the, in the timeout and said, let's, let's go. And luckily we played really, really well from that point on. And, we knew we needed to try to, to save as much energy for Saturday night. Saturday's a really tough place to play down Lafayette. Um, and luckily enough, we, we made enough plays to win. Uh, we're down 24 to 17 in the first game, came back and won 26-24. Uh, then came out in the second game and, and didn't play very well, and Lafayette did. I think they hit like 600 against us in that set. Um, third game, we came out and we kind of did the reverse. We, we played really well and they didn't. And in the fourth game, we actually had an opportunity to win in extra points. We were down 24-22, uh, tied it at 24, went up 25-24, uh, had a net call against us, which, uh, you know, the player wasn't sure if they were in a net. Typically, they know. All right. Uh, but either way you look at it, we ended up losing in extra points. And then in the fifth game, really came out and played really well and, and pushed the tempo and, and got, uh, got the win. Well, and to finish two matches on the road is always a strong thing. And you get to, to come back home, and we continue to kind of press this point, but you say uh, at home you love the environment, you love the way your players play at home, and this is a big match that you're going to be playing against Texas State uh, here on Thursday night. Oh, it's huge. Uh, they're in third place in the Sun Belt right now, and we're in fourth right behind them. Uh, we've never beaten them. Uh, we've, we competed against them pretty well here. Mm -hmm. Uh, out there is a totally different story. Uh, we lost in four two years ago, and last year we lost in three, and it wasn't that close. Uh, but, you know, we love our gym. I mean, yeah. it's uh, it's such a, an advantage for us, and the crowd really gets involved. And uh, all we can do is try to have the crowd feed uh, feed our, our team. And Tuesday night against Florida A&M last week, they really did that with right. the – you know, the 2,000 folks that came right. in, it was, it was a lot of fun, a great environment to be in. Well, I know you'd love to have that 2,000 people again out there for, for the match. And um, as you said, it's a big one. So hopefully, hopefully another big crowd for you. It'd be great. We'd love everyone in Troy to come out and surrounding communities and anybody that can get there. Come on, it's free and it's at 6 o'clock. All right, Coach. Well, thank you for joining us and good luck Thursday night. Thanks, Jonathan. All right, and join us again next week for more of It's Tea Time.